An emergency operation at the Institute of Neurology and Neurosurgery in Mexico City. 36-year-old Lorelia Martin had been suffering headaches and nausea. She's been diagnosed with hydrocephalus, or water on the brain. In newborn babies, it causes grotesque swelling of the head. In adults, it leads to massive pressure on the brain and death. The only solution is to drill a hole in the skull, insert a catheter, and drain the fluid. It sounds simple enough, but until now, it's been fraught with complications. And patients have often ended up back on the operating table. Mexican neurologists believe that they now have the answer, an artificial drainage system that lasts the patient for life. Guillermo Ibarra developed hydrocephalus a couple of years ago. At first, he would just pass out, but it soon progressed and at times he'd be paralyzed. I remember one occasion very well. I was in the patio and I fell over. I fell over backwards. I just couldn't get up. My son had to lift me. He became very quiet, very withdrawn. He wasn't the wise guy he is now, and that he was before. Guillermo was referred to the Institute for Neurology and Neurosurgery. Head of the team there is Dr. Julio Sotelo, an expert on hydrocephalus. This is a typical case of hydrocephalus. We can see just how swollen the ventricles are. Normally, they're just tiny cavities in the brain. Inside the brain, four cavities, called ventricles, contain fluid. But when the ducts that normally drain this fluid become blocked, the liquid can't escape and pressure increases on the brain. A tube must be surgically inserted inside the patient to drain the fluid from the brain down to the abdomen, where it is reabsorbed into the body. You make a hole in the head, in the bone, so you put the catheter into the ventricles, which contain the fluid. You connect it to this, the abdomen catheter, which goes under the skin, and it goes directly to the abdomen, and that's where the liquid drains. The tube must be left permanently inside the patient, otherwise the liquid will simply build up again. The problem is that the great majority of drainage systems draw off either too much water or too little. There's either overdrainage or underdrainage. He believes the problem lies in the valve system, which is used to control the flow of liquid. It can easily become blocked, and it also functions differently depending on whether we are upright or lying down. Two thirds of the day, we are in an upright position, either seated or standing. This affects the system terribly because it produces a suction effect. It produces an effect whereby the force of gravity draws the liquid down. It doesn't matter how the valve works. It took years of work, but Dr. Satella came up with a simple solution a tube without a valve. Instead, the flow of fluid is controlled by the incredibly narrow internal diameter of the tube just four hundredths of a millimetre. This diameter manages to counter the effect of the suction, which gravity exercises on the flow of the liquid, while at the same time permitting an adequate flow of the liquid when the patient is lying down. The pressure of the liquid building in the brain is perfectly balanced with the force of gravity, and the continuous flow means that it's not subject to the same dangers of clotting as the old valve system, despite its narrowness. Guillermo is now the proud owner of this new valveless catheter. It comes here, it comes down here, and this is where the water comes out, and that's how they do it. It's an extraordinarily versatile system, which you can use for any case of hydrocephalus. And the long-term results already indicate that it functions well in the majority of patients. The fact that it was a Mexican invention by Dr. Julio Sotelo makes me doubly proud, for myself as a Mexican and for them as Mexicans.
con ellos, con el hospital, con el instituto y con Dios. Thanks to Dr. Sotelo, the pioneering Mexican technology that saved Guillermo may soon be available throughout the world.